news. It was Saturday morning when Michigan State women's basketball coach Susie Merchant found out she tested positive for COVID-19. But today we found out she would not be available for the Big Ten matchup against Northwestern, which meant associate head coach Dean Lockwood would fill in. But not to worry, because Lockwood has 40 years of coaching experience under his belt. He spent 20 years with the Tennessee basketball program and was a part of two national championships. Lockwood is also the men's basketball coach at Saginaw State for six years. Coaching also becomes easier when you have one of the best players in the country, Ania Cloudon, who knocks down the triple to start her game-high 19-point performance. MSU trailed by two in the final seconds of the first half by Matilda Eck. Beats the buzzer at the or behind the arc as the Spartans would take a two point lead at the halftime. The momentum carried into the second half as Alicia Smith gets the tough bucket to cap off a 10 0 run for the Spartans. Now, Okabis alum Leah Hartman brings Northwestern within eight in the fourth quarter on this bucket. Hartman finished with eight points, but it was the Cloud and Eck connection that was cooking this afternoon. Cloud and hits Eck in the corner for the three. Eck had 18 points as MSU takes down. Northwestern 65 to 46. Our Ian Crest was at the game and has more on how the Spartans got it done without their leader. With all the adversity this Michigan State basketball team has had to go through this season, the injuries, COVID-19, and players entering the transfer portal, not having head coach Susie Merchant out here today was just another thing the Spartans had to brush off their shoulders and move on from. And it's why associate head coach Dean Lockwood was ready for anything in the post-game celebration. Yeah! It was heaven on earth. That to any, for a win, it's you'll take anything. I'll I'll take getting go go have them dunk garbage on me, have them dunk water on. Me, I don't care. It was beautiful. No, the spirit of this team today was tremendous. So, sign of great leadership is you can remove the leader temporarily, and the team still functions at a high level. And that's a credit to Susie. We talked about before the game just like being tough today, uh, play tough. Uh, play for each other and play for Susie. It was a lot of motivation heading in because we know um, Coach, she would scratch and nail and claw her way into the game if she could. And we called her at the end of the game and, and she, was, she was so emotional and proud of us. Another cool moment for Michigan State, freshman Matilda Eck, who's from Sweden, had her mom in East Lansing this past week. And today was the final game her mom got to see her play before she heads back home. And what a way to send her out with an 18-point performance and a win in the Big Ten. At the Breslin Center, Ian Kress, Six Sports. Thank you, Ian. Coach Lockwood coached at Saginaw Valley State for six seasons. We wanted to make sure to get that right.